Samsung RSH1 defrost heater fitted in the fridge. This is an original heater, no longer available and the camera at the moment is focusing on one of the thermal trips and I'll just pan out two thermal trips on this old one and um, either one of those failing would cause an open circuit reading if we want to test it and see if it's any good with a meter we've got 355 ohms on the meter that's a good um, defrost heater the problem is that one's no longer available there are several more that come into play now there's an L-shaped one with one heater with one thermal fuse there's an L-shaped one with a tail back with two and Samsung keep changing the heaters as they've had problems with them not with them failing but with them burning the lining of the cabinet this one uh, is an evolution shall we say and to test this it's actually a longer heater because of the curl back on it and testing that one 366 ohms another good heater either of those fail and obviously open circuit what's really worth noticing is how these attach there you go you can see on that thermal fuse it's two push through roll plug type fittings and they go into a small hole and lock in place so when you change this heater the original and you put a new one on you can't get those to fit on the same way the only way you can do it is to cut off those tags and tie wrap the flat base as close as you can onto the aluminium former not a very good job really but um, you're stuck in any other way and yet again things are changing the RSH1 heater is now developing into this sort of unit and it's the heater with the cutback but if we focus on the there we go there's the TOC just one of them fitted into the uh, the aluminium former there's another TOC on it and it's set there into a plastic uh, clip and no foam on it like the original ones on the RSH1 okay and then we have in that corner let's see if we can just focus on it exactly there here we've got the defrost sensor if we just show you these as well very important because if you try to replace your heater it'll come as a kit and you get some clips in it and we'll try and get a good picture of that if you can just see how the arrowhead clip is situated and against the metal of that plate there's another one just here okay and another important part is if you're replacing this difficult to get a good picture there we go just there there's um, a small plastic um, clip which the heater clips into okay so when you fit in this instead of that original one you've got to make some adjustments and it comes with a clip so you can do all of that of course if you're a refrigeration engineer and you know how to do a system you could just replace the whole evaporator assembly the aluminium tray is heated for draining the water away through that grid and the heat of this element not only defrosts the evaporator it's supposed to keep the tray clear as well uh, I personally think that those holes are just going to get uh, blocked 
with rubbish and then it'll ice up and all go wrong. There you go, that's it.